In this video, we are going to see how the GLM 4.7 is doing in uh, cloud code and in uh, factory AI, Droid CLI, and see how well it does in these two tools to build a uh, website for us and see which tool it's better to use with the GLM 4.7 model, which is one of the most powerful models out there that it's open source and it has some uh, interesting uh, plans that are affordable and you can start uh, coding with GLM 4.7 with just a couple of bucks. I am in the higher tier of them and I wanted to see how this model is doing in cloud code and in factory AI. I have tested the GLM 4.7 before in factory AI Droid, but it didn't do a very good job. But uh, lately, factory AI released some updates that are supposed to make GLM 4.7 work better with their CLI tool. And um, I will let the video into the description with the previous test that I've did. And uh, yeah, in this video, we are going to test it with Cloud Code. So I have the latest version of Cloud Code installed that has a lot of major things released in it. And we are going to test it with Factory AI, the Droid tool. And you can use both of these tools for free. So if you want to use the GLM 4.7 model in Droid, you can do so. It's free. You can just add it in the configuration and you can start working with it. So you don't need to use their plan to use it. And I already created everything. And in here, we're going to see, for instance, that uh, this is the cloud code 2.1.1 that was used to build this um, website. And this is the prompt. The prompt is the one that I'm usually using. It uh, tells to use some skills like front-end design, Astro Expert and Tailwind V4 Expert to build this Astro project for us. It's a solar panel website and the prompt were similar in uh, both uh, CLI tools. In here you see that I've asked the cloud code to just start working on this. Frankly, I didn't like uh, Cloud Cloud with GLM 4.7 because it took more than one hour to finish with this project. And you are going to see that the skills were not even used. So I asked I asked Cloud Code to use these skills, but he didn't uh, use it. I don't know if this is because of the model or because of the CLI tool, but he didn't use the skills that I have asked him to to use. But yeah, it started creating everything and it took a lot of time to finish with everything. It had some errors at the end and it didn't uh, also manage to fix them properly after iterating a couple of times and after he tested like uh, NPM run build a lot of uh, times in here. And uh, I was disappointed to see that the LM 4.7 is not working that good with cloud uh, code. Supposedly cloud code uh, it is a recommended way to use it with GLM 4.7. And a lot of uh, comments in the previous videos was telling that I should use Cloud Code, not use the Droid uh, CLI for this. And I wanted to give it a try and see how well it does. I really like the factory AI Droid because it's easy and simple to use. And it's more friendly then cloud cross from my point of view and in here you see all the things and he struggled he struggled a lot to just uh, fix the problems and it didn't even fix them and in here i have started the cloud code version and it's on this port it's 4322 i will just open this and then i will show you what uh, droid did okay let me open this and in here you see that the website is similar with what Sonnet it's doing, the first page. It's working nicely. It added some things in here. You see that these uh, services, it's looking interesting, nothing special. You see that you have nice uh, testimonials in here with nice animations. In here you have the projects with images, nice animations. Footer again, it's quite nice. The Astro structure, it's quite good. It created components. But when you are trying to use the pages, only the contact page, it's working and it's looking like this. It's also added a map. 
So it's pretty good, but if you're going to check the about and uh, the other pages, this is not working because it didn't uh, create it the Astro page properly. It has some errors in there. Again, I've tried to fix these problems after one hour of uh, just uh, letting the LLM fix the problems. I, I was bored and I have stopped it. So yeah, it didn't do a pretty good job in the cloud code CLI, but the home page it looks quite nice from my point of view. And right now we're going to see the Droid version of this because I was impressed with this latest version of Factory AI Droid. And in here I have it installed and started it on this port. And in here we can see that for instance, I've asked him to use the same prompt with the front end skills and create a section like SVGs for us. And he created a plan for us. And then he started loading the skills, things that didn't happen with cloud code. And yeah, then it moved to reading the project and it started working on the SEO components. It created the global.css with the details because it's using the front end uh, design skills. It created the SEO component and everything. And this took about 11 minutes to finish. So in 11 minutes, I had a fully working website. But at the end, after he created everything, we're going to see that he started to also test this with npm run build to see if it has any errors and he fixed the errors that uh, existed in there you see npm run build and then he fixed the errors that it's in and the end in 11 minutes I'll have a full working project so the droid experience why it's smooth and uh, yeah it managed to create everything in i don't know 11 minutes which is a very good time for this previously it took 15 minutes when I tried it uh, before. And right now we're going to see what he was able to do. So I will open the Droid website so we can see what we have in here. So you see that this is what he created. It looks similar with the previous one. So it looks pretty good. The first page and here you see that you have more effects the services it's looking quite nice okay this is the testimonials again it looks nice projects it created the svgs for the project didn't use images and in here we have the call to action and in here we have the footer so this is what druid did it uh, is more simple from my point of view but this is because of the front-end design skill that i asked him to do but the about page it's working in here and you see that again this is looks quite nice and it has nice animations you have the call to action on every page services again like this contact similar with what the cloud code did and everything gets working out of the box so yeah this is these are the results and if you are a uh, wanted to use GLM 4.7 with a powerful tool. I think the Droid CLI from Factory AI it's uh, the better option right now to use it with GLM 4.7. And uh, yeah, these are the results and uh, this is how it does. From my point of view, GLM 4.7 it's still a powerful model and it can be used in the project. If you are using their coding plan, you will have access to a lot of uh, requests that can uh, help you build your projects. And uh, yeah, these are the results in the section below in the comments. You can uh, tell your opinion on them. And in case you want to see other videos on different uh, AI topics or DevOps, then check my channel. Thanks for watching.